Cross-chain bridges, connecting crypto's scattered islands. Crypto's biggest problem? All these amazing blockchains are like islands they can't talk to each other. Enter cross-chain bridges, the infrastructure connecting crypto's scattered ecosystem. But are they safe? Think of blockchains like different countries with their own currencies. A cross-chain bridge is like a currency exchange that lets you move value between them. Here's how it works. You want to move Ethereum to Polygon, you send ETH to a bridge smart contract which locks it up. The bridge then mints wrapped ETH on Polygon, when you want to return, the process reverses. Popular bridges include Polygon Bridge for Ethereum to Polygon, Wormhole connecting Solana to other chains and multi-chain supporting dozens of networks. Why do we need them? Different chains have different strengths. Ethereum has the most DeFi but high fees, Polygon is cheaper but smaller ecosystem, Solana is fast but less battle-tested, multi-chain wallets like MetaMask make this easier. You can switch between Ethereum, Polygon, Avalanche and more with a few clicks, but bridges come with risks. Their honeypots for hackers over $2 billion was stolen from bridges in 2022. The Ronin bridge hack alone lost $625 million. Security varies widely. Some bridges are centralized with trusted validators, others use smart contracts but might have bugs. Always research before bridging large amounts. Best practices, start with small amounts, use established bridges, never bridge more than you can afford to lose and always double check destination addresses. Cross-chain technology is still evolving, but it's essential for crypto's multi-chain future. Which chains do you bridge between most? Share your experiences and any bridge horror stories in the comments.